Koreans have been victimized in the 20th century. They are one people, one language, one history, and they're artificially divided by the Cold War. If you look at club scenes in big cities of Korea, you wonder if these generations really want reunification of the country. It's a whole different matter for this generation. We used to talk about the generation gap in America during the time of the Vietnam War. In Korea, it's more like a chasm. Namanon, Tomonaka, Telachamchi, Masumutras in Damanon, Kurunde, Pukanon, Kurun, Namane, Yelchong Jagibo, Tumal, then Kuka Balchon, Yuhan, Noriogul Hanon, Kurun Chongang Ezo, Kuni Momon, Tobaro, Hewasmia. North Koreans have this wonderful pattern of basically doing something quite terrible and then there's a negotiation and they exact some price to promise not to do the terrible thing again. I mean, this is a country capable of unbelievable deprivation. If a country that is poor, starving, backwards, a pariah regime that abuses human rights, you know, smuggles drugs, counterfeits currencies, has never met a weapon system that it wasn't willing to export to the worst people in the world, if that kind of country can be recognized as a nuclear power and as a negotiating counterpart as a nuclear power, who can't?